What's up? It's Jesse, aka Damage Plan from CrazyQuads.net, and we are doing a tattoo battery review. Actually, more of a comparison. And we have three tattoo batteries here. We have Funfly Standard and R Line batteries. And really, translated to FPV language, is uh, least expensive, getting up there, and most expensive. <laughs> now, these do have some. Uh, well. According to their numbers, there are some performance differences. Our line has 100C, uh, the Extant 2 standard, I believe this is 75C. And Funfly, I think these are these are rated at 100C, but you know, these are the least expensive battery. So, really, if this is 100C, is this going to perform close to this? Well, I'm just going to cut to the chase. Yes, yes, it did actually. Um, out of the three, right off the bat, uh, after testing, this one ended up being my favorite. Uh, not only really just from the performance, because that really kind of sold me right away, but the price can't beat it. Um, you are literally paying just about, for the price of two of these, is the price of one of these. Two, one, yeah, no brainer, right? So for someone who is uh, wanting a good performance and not really wanting to spend a lot, these are perfect. These are wonderful batteries. This has worked great, and you'll see that in the videos too. Um, now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Um, these R line are great. These I think had uh, just a, a smidge, a little bit more top end on it. I, I would say you can kind of hear that in the videos. Um, really, that's really a comparison. We'll be showing uh, all the different punch outs that we we're doing, our flight times that we we're getting. We're very close to the same on all three of them. So what we're doing for the flights is basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking off and we're going to be doing a punch out right off, right off the bat. So that way, you know, it's the freshest part of the, of the battery. Uh, we do a second punch out at 500 ma, and then a third punch out around 1,000 ma towards the end of the battery. And it's really going to show the three stages of the battery, beginning, middle, end kind of thing. And uh, through the three flights, uh, flight one was one second uh, punch outs. Uh, flight two was two second punch outs. Flight three was three second punch outs and so forth. <clears throat> So really, it, it was more to show the performance right off the bat, even if there was no sag to the end to where now we're going to start seeing uh, just a minor, some minor sag. And uh, in the videos, we're really showing the uh, beginning performance and the end flights. So pretty much flight one and flight threes, just to pretty much show you the, the short burst performance and pretty much the longevity performance where you can really start to hear any sag, if any at all, um, on these, which they all three performed very well. But uh, like I said, the, this was my favorite. I really like this one. But we're going to go ahead and go to it. So let's do it. Hey, also, before we start with those videos, uh, I wanted to go over what we're actually using for the test, which is uh, this quad right here. This is a iFlight R1 XF5, and we are running a Rotor Riot control, Riot control board, I believe, uh, and uh, Emacs Bullet 35 amp ESC. And we're running those on 2207, 2450 KV motors, some uh, hype train blasters. So something that's not going to be pulling too much, but also not going to be too wussy either. So we'll, you're kind of the middle ground set up here. And then we do also have all our numbers on what we're doing here, uh, what the flights were, what model you were used. So we'll put those pictures up. Hopefully you can read my writing. Sorry, it's very sloppy. These are just field notes. But uh, we also put on here um, what they were packaged at, what the voltage that we got out of them right out of the box, and how long it took each one to charge for the first charge and what we were charging them at. 
So, enough of my yakking. On to the flight video. Yeah.